Okay, bismillah. The discussion is about vowels in the Arabic language. Unlike English, where vowels are made from the letters of the alphabet, in Arabic we have three distinct signs for vowels. And they are on the left-hand side, dhamma, fatha, and kasra. So we have here a noon. So the way we would write a dhamma is as follows. It's like a small wow. And it has the sound of u. So the way you pronounce this is nu. Nu. Now you can watch this video, which will pronounce all the letters with a dhamma. Secondly, we have the fatha. Now with fatha, it's written as a line on top of letter. And it has the sound of a. That would be na. Na. So you can watch this video to listen to the letters of the alphabet being pronounced with a fatha. Finally, we have the kasra. With the kasra, it's similar to a fatha, but it's written on the bottom of the letter. And it has a e sound. So that would be pronounced as ni. You can watch this video to listen to the letters of the alphabet being pronounced with a kasra. Now, it's a good idea to memorize these three names, Dhamma, Fatha, and Kasra, which will help you through your studies in Arabic. So let's do an example of a word that has these three vowels in the word. So let's try to pronounce this word. So we have the, this is a Kaf, so it has a K sound, and on top of it is a Dhamma, so there's an U sound. So that would be Ku. Ku. Then we have the ta with a kasra. So that would be t. So ku t. And then we have the ba with a fatha on top. And remember the fatha has an a sound. So that would be ba. So it would be ku t ba. Ku t ba. Kutiba, which means it was written or it was prescribed. So that's a brief explanation of vowels.